Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are doing something that I was kind of inspired to do. Now I've had people ask if I would make the Majora's Mask for a while, and I was thumbing through the Facebook groups that I belong to. Somebody had made a Majora's Mask, but made it a half mask, you know, Mimpo style, and I thought, that's what I wanna make. So today we are going to make Majora's Mask or as we will call it, Majora's Mimpo. Let's get to building. Start by printing out the template in the description below the video and cutting out the pieces. Any parts with an asterisk followed by an R means that it's just the right side of the mask. To get the left side, turn the template label side down and trace it again. Angle cuts are marked with a blue highlighted line and the U shape on the edges are registration marks. I use 6mm EVA for this build. I applied contact cement to all the edges. Once it was no longer wet, I started assembly. I closed the large darts up first. If I missed a spot with contact cement or a seam refuses to close up, I keep some super glue handy to hit that little spot. Then I use the registration marks on the pieces to help me align all of the parts to each other, trying to stay flush on the outside of the mask. Found a good reference on Sketchfab, a 3D model app I use on my phone that sometimes has reliable models to go off of. I tape my wood burner and burn in some faux wood grain about a third of the way into the foam. Make sure to wear a respirator and work in a well ventilated area while burning foam. It lets out a horrible smell and is not good to breathe in.
Now I'm gluing on the trim detail. The horns sit on a little base, so I glue those down first and space them out. I decided to just do three small horns on each side, but you could do all four or make them bigger or do whatever you want. Uh, once the base was down, I flattened a side of these 6mm EVA dowels and glued them into place for trim work. To make my horns, I took a 24mm EVA dowel and tapered it down to a point slowly. My spikes are about 2 inches tall. The real mass spikes are a lot bigger than this. I modified mine for personal reasons. Once I attached them, I went back in with my wood burner and carved in some lines on these also. Hit it with two quick coats of Plasti Dip. Then I hand painted on the base layer of paint with some Plaid FX acrylic paint. You could stop here and leave your mask nice and shiny, but that's not how we do things here on the channel. You could also add patches of brown to make it look like chipped off paint to take that paint job to the next level.
With some more Platifex acrylic paint, I pushed in the acrylic down into the grooves of the wood grain and wiped off the high points with a paper towel. Then for strapping, I just used some one inch elastic banding, held it up to my head to get the sizing, and then sandwiched it in between the mask and another piece of foam. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I definitely like the the aged look, the wood grain texture, getting all the dirt, picking it up, really makes it pop out a little bit more. Um, I think it's a pretty cool design. Uh, like I said, I wasn't really original in this thought. I did see somebody else doing a 3D model of one. Uh, but thought that it could easily be applied to foam and um, I'm going to use this base template to make some other things. I've already made three of them uh, as of today, as of this video, uh, and it's just using the base template and then making some modifications to it. So in coming videos I'll show you how to modify my template so that you can make something creative with it because ultimately that is the goal of this channel is to promote creativity. That's why my templates are free. That's why I post two times a week. I, I just want to get as much out there as possible for you guys to spark something and hopefully make something on your own. Maybe you will try and make this Mimpo mask yourself and impress your friends with your lack of respect for mask classics. I mean, it is what it is. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them. Much props. So, you know, you just kind of wander through the woods and creep people out. Peace out.